going to be doing something a little bit different today. I have here a Keldy tent, three to four season. I've had this since 1996. I have a picture of the receipt up here. Uh, the seam tape on the inside is given up, and Keldy wants a picture of it, of the tent and the seam tape. This tent seems to be older than just about everybody that works at Keldy now. So, stand by, we'll get this set up. And here we have the Keldy Quattro 2. February 96 purchase date. I don't know that there's a manufacturer date on it. Mid 90s. We've had this since new. My able-bodied assistant here wants to open up there. And we'll look inside. Like I said, Keldy wants a, uh, a picture of the seam tape that turned loose. Yeah, hopefully they can fix it for me being old. Okay, and it's there, this seam. You can see where the tape is separated. We've since cut it out. We slept in this a couple of years ago. Camped in it for a few nights. Uh, put a picture up here. Now, believe it or not, I'll have my able body assistant ease in there real quick. If she would. Ow. Now, believe it or not, if you want to open that vent back here, go ahead. Uh, get you some air. Ah, catch my air. Believe it or not, you can fit a queen size air mattress in here. We done it. We got Barely. in we got in a case of emergency, immediate need, and we had to take this tent. Uh, and we had a queen size air mattress. It fit in here, and it sat about that high, just close to the top. And you were snugly. Yeah, that corner there is kind of sticky a little bit. There you go, keep going. Uh, you were snugly, and it was full. But it can be done. What I mean by immediate need, emergency, if we wasn't homeless. Well, we was for a camping trip. Remember, we had a crackhead steal some gear, and he stole our big tent. He didn't get the poles. They were separate. <laughs> so it's on him, idiot. And that was that big red tent. I'll put a picture up here and uh, of it. So we replaced it with an identical. But anyway, we didn't discover that crackhead had stole that tent until it. We went to load it up and leave that morning. This is what we had besides the little kitchen tent there. Set up in this picture beside it, that little dome tent. That's our storage tent. What do we call that? Outside or summer kitchen tent. Yeah, I don't know why. I had just a name for it. But we store firewood, non food totes, and that sort of thing in it. But anyway, huh? Old school. Yeah. Uh, Keldy Quattro. Two person, two people, and a little bit of gear will fit in here. Yeah. Um, or one person and all your gear if you're on backpacking. I got this. Now here's something we haven't really gotten into. December 30th of 1995, I got into a carjacking type situation. Uh, now I'll see if I can put a picture up here. I'll warn you now. Yeah, you know, this might. Not be the most pleasant thing to look at this scar. Anyway, carjacking situation. 
a couple of boys come up, had a piece of metal, pipe, I don't know, rebar, whatever it was. It wasn't really identified. Decided uh, they didn't care for me. So first thing I know, I'm sitting at a stop sign, two or three cars ahead of me. I'm waiting my turn. I'm goofing with the radio or the heater, glancing up at traffic, you know, see if it's moving, 11, 11.30 at night. My driver's side side window explodes, and I get hit in the head with something. That addled me pretty good. Everything was graying out. Uh, when I was falling over towards the center console, the next thing I know, there's something come across my chest and hit it. That woke me up. And then there's hands pulling on me. Well, I had a CCW concealed weapons permit and I was carrying and I'd come to my senses enough to realize what was going on getting warm in there <laughs> so anyway to realize what was going on she's getting hot let's feel sizzling smoking <laughs> anyway, uh, I come out with my concealed item there I got to be careful on YouTube what I say about that stuff. And I won the day. I went home, called the ambulance, police showed up, shots fired and all that sort of thing. Anyway, January the 6th, 1996, you know, I went in the hospital, that shot across the chest, collapsed a lung. It blew the left upper lobe and it wouldn't seal. So January 6th, they had to go in and do their thing. I uh, ended up with most of that lobe taken out. And uh, anyway, we got this tent right after that, thinking we was going to finish up some Appalachian Trail stuff. Now, Miss Sonia and the kids, you know, they've done sections of the Appalachian Trail. We all have. And, you know, we're, we've been section hikers. Well, I ain't going to lie getting over that lung operation was terrible it took a long time there was oxygen involved and uh, i smoked and a number of things going on there so anyway the reason we got this tent was okay we're going to bounce back from this pretty quick well we didn't bounce back from that pretty quick i didn't and we got this in february after that happened uh we was going to do some winter hiking off peak colder weather anyway and kids were little they tagged along everywhere well they didn't have no choice they were kids they went where we went <laughs> they did they had a blast it, it wasn't all mean and everything they had a blast but uh, anyway we got this and never never got to use it for its intended purpose you know some more AT hiking and camping it's been camped in and everything but you know it's not seen the AT yet I really really hope this year maybe next to go down to Virginia and finish up a couple of sections down in that area down in the Roanoke area uh, the Triple Crown Dragon's Tooth McAfee Knob and the cliffs you know they call that the triple crown i need to finish that section i've not done it anyway in looking at the tent the last time we was out in it hadn't been long ago at all i noticed the seam tape was coming up there i went ahead and peeled it off and i reached out to kelly you know what do you recommend to fix that and uh, it went from there send us pictures uh, we want to see this tent and like i said you know this thing's 30 years old so it's, if anybody's ever on a 30-year retirement, they're not there anymore. It's tents older than the representatives I was talking to. <laughs> so, but anyway, vintage equipment, and that's what this is, setting up so I can get pictures taken of it. But to recap that lung thing, y'all, some of y'all hear my breathing. Even before the lung cancer, my breathing was a little different than faster, maybe a little louder at times because I'm missing a chunk of lung. That wouldn't reseal and they had to go in and remove it and do their work and uh, yeah, that, that hurt me for quite a while. 
like I said, I, they wasn't no just bounce right back, like having your gallbladder or something took out. That, that took a while to get over. Uh, but anyway, that's the story on this tent. Got it in February of '96. We're going to hit some AT sections, finish up some sections, uh, do the Virginia Triple Crown, and it's not seen the AT. Now I'd really, really like to uh, get that down there. It's probably not going to be this year, but next year and get at least two sections. You know, we've done Mount Rogers and uh, other sections uh, with that old brown pup tent that we had. <laughs> so, anyway, like I said, this is something different, but there's a purpose to it. Flooding. Now there goes Mimi stomping through the poison ivy. You stay here, child. Well, what is it? A snake. Mm. <laughs> oh, my that is a copperhead, I do believe. <laughs> no, he ain't dead. No, water snake. Yeah. I'm going to tell my yeah. teacher that I found the snake. I thought it was a 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 snake. I thought it was He's okay. He's not moving. Papa's got you. You know, Papa don't let nothing happen to you. We're getting him on camera. So we can look at him later. If we can out, I don't like his name. But neither's Papa, so we're not getting any closer. Sonia, you'll pull around and get bit. Yeah. If There's that... a snake charmer there. What's a snake charmer? She ain't afraid of them. I'm very afraid. Yeah, let's go. Let's go then. It's okay. Papa's got you. Kind of watch the ground now. That's the first snake of the season, huh? And that's the second one that I saw. Okay, it's okay. There's one in my backyard too. When? On the other summer break when I was about to go in first grade. Long time ago? Long time ago. Okay. He's probably run off by now. Don't cry. We're gone. There ain't no more. It's okay. He's long gone now behind us. He was laying there trying to hide. Papa, see right there. What? Uh, well, don't go sticking your head in there. It could be something down in there. That he's a water snake. So come on. He's making his way back to the creek. And he could crawl up in these things. Could. I don't mean he is or will. But that's where they go, is where water is. Why is there even snakes even around here? I don't know, baby. I, I wish they were... I wish they was gone too. <laughs> Okay. So you got to look at him close. Camp is being invaded by a black panther. Walking around the side there. We'll hunt the elusive animal. The black panther notices there's no food and it moves on. 